everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I will be doing the very first video in my brand new top five series. Um, so I've been kind of thinking about doing this series for a little while now. I've been seeing a lot of uh, YouTubers doing this series. So I thought, you know, why not jump on the bandwagon? Um, because, you know, why not? Um, and just start doing this series because it looks like a lot of fun and looks like something that I would really be interested in. So I said, you know what, we're just going to do it. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so as you may have noticed from the title of this video, um, this is my top five high-end makeup palettes. I'm not sure if I will do one for drugstore. We'll just have to see because I don't really have that many drugstore. But like I said, we'll have to see. So let's just get into it. So I'm going to start off with an oldie but a goodie, um, the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette, which is right up here, the top row, as you may know if you're familiar with this palette. Um, this is like the best neutrals palette. Uh, well, it's like one of the first, it's probably the first high-end makeup palette I ever had, but it's really, it's one of the best uh, neutral palettes that you can have. Um, it's just really versatile, especially if you're more cool toned like I am. Uh, this is a very cool toned palette. Uh, a lot of metallics, um, some chunky glitter in here. Not very much of that, but uh, it's really good. There are a couple of mattes, but it's mostly shimmers and everything like that. And um, I just really, really love this palette. While I don't reach for it as much as I used to because I have more uh, interesting palettes and better palettes let's be honest but this is one of the best neutral palettes that you can get and it's of course high-end because it's Urban Decay um, this is the only uh, Naked palette that I have but I am very interested to try the Naked 3 which I've been thinking about purchasing um, so this this is a, a very good palette so we're keeping in this palette here uh this z palette for my next picks and i kind of want to talk about these together but they are two separate palettes so i'm gonna treat them that way um so first the first one well i'm not even i shouldn't even say first and then second because we already had the naked two but i'm talking about the original Lorac pro palette which is um all of these right up to here it's all of these so that is the first Lorac Pro palette um honestly I am pretty much in love with Lorac it's like one of my favorite brands um I reach for my Lorac palettes more than I do my uh Urban Decay palettes as hard as that may be for some people to believe it is true um and the reason that I was saying that I wanted to talk about these at the same time is because both the Lorac Pro and the Lorac Pro 2 palette are on this list so and they're together right here as you can see I'll just show you all of these are like the Lorac Pro 1 and 2 so I don't know if that's cheating for this but I just really love Lorac palettes and I do tend to gravitate toward Lorac and this is not the only Lorac that we have in this, um, but let's just focus on these. Basically, I bought the Lorac Pro 1 and Pro 2 together, um, so I kind of always talk about them together. So this is like my, sec my second and third ones in this. I'm just going to kind of talk about them together. Um, basically, you can't go wrong with these. Um, I just, there's so, there's everything that you would need is in these two palettes. I just love them so much. Like, I use this constantly. It doesn't even look like it, but, well, this one kind of does because I use it the most, but these other ones don't even hardly look like they're touched, but I use them constantly and it's kind of ridiculous. Um, but, uh, basically, I just really love the Lorac Pro and Lorac Pro 2. Moving swiftly along, um, we are going to be looking at the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. And this is the first 
Too Faced palette that I have purchased. Uh, and I'm basically obsessed. I'm like a Too Faced girl now. I never thought that I would enjoy their products as much as I enjoy them. Like, I use the Too Faced highlighter constantly, like every single day um, that I put makeup on my face. So, if you haven't ever seen it, this is what the uh, Chocolate Bonbons palette looks like. Very, very cute. Heart shaped stuff all over the place. Um, you can probably see where I've used this because I used this today. So there's kind of glitter and fallout all over this. Um, but I am obsessed with this palette. I use it like every time that I do makeup. If not for my eyeshadow, I'm using it for a highlight on my face because satin sheets right here, I'll just show you satin sheets, best highlight, best highlight. I love it. Like if I don't love the way that my highlight looks already, I'll go back to satin sheets and put it on over top of it. It is so good and I wish that they would release it as a single or as a highlight on its own because I would buy that like in a heartbeat. I would buy it and be like, hi, I need that right now in my life. <laughs> um, so this palette is amazing. I'm really, really tempted to buy the other chocolate palettes, but I think Too Faced is releasing a peach palette this summer and girl, you better know that I am waiting. I'm like patiently impatiently sitting here waiting watching I'm just waiting for them to release like a date when it will be released because I am ready to purchase that when did this turn into a Too Faced video I'm sorry this palette's amazing I love it the shadows are way better than I thought that they would be um for some reason in my brain I was like Too Faced shadows aren't that good and I had never tried them like who are you what are you talking about but this is amazing and of course you would know that i would have to end this off with another lorac palette because hi that's my life so <laughs> uh the lorac mega pro 2 um which would be all of these shadows here all the way until like right there it's all of these basically this row, this row, this row, and then this black. So, can we just take a close look at this? This is beautiful. Can you see those dents that I've put in these? That's kind of, like, embarrassing. But I love this. I love this so much. Like, if I don't know what to do, you know everybody has that palette where if you don't know what kind of eyeshadow you want, you just go to a certain palette. This is the one that I go to. I always go to my Lorac Mega Pro 2. Like, ever since I got this, I use this constantly. Um, it just has really pretty colors. I can't believe that I almost didn't buy this, and I'm so, so glad that I did. Because, just look. Look at how pretty it is. It's so pretty, it hurts me. Like, you can get so many different looks from this. I wasn't really a person who wore warm eyeshadow looks. Um, before I got this palette and I wear warm eyeshadow looks more than I ever have um not today I have purple all over my eyelids but ignore that um but like just look at all these beautiful orange shades perfect for fall and as you can see I love these two right here I always use like this one on my lid and this one in my crease I'm pretty sure I have a tutorial for that and I'll link it down below if I do um but this palette is like the palette that I love more than any other palette because I love Lorac eyeshadow formulas and the colors are to die for in this. Yes, look at my beautiful Z palette. It's got stickers on it. Hi. Um, but just, I love that palette so much. So there you go, you guys. Um, my first video of the top five series. I feel like I cheated a little bit because I did the... <laughs> Lorac uh, Pro and Pro 2 and the Mega Pro 2, but I just want you guys to know how much I love Lorac shadows. They're fabulous. If you've never tried them, I highly encourage you to try them. Like I would, I would recommend Lorac over Urban Decay shadows. That's how intensely I feel about this issue. Oh, and it is a serious issue. Not really, it's not. Um, but anyways, thank you guys for joining me today. Leave me a like if you like this video, comment down below, and subscribe because I make new videos every Monday and Friday. 
Thank you guys so, so much for watching me once again, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!